are coming on tonight. So get ready. I mean, get ready. Are you ready for some football? Yeah. A Monday night party. What's going on, guys? It's Sunday. Uh, another day in the shop here. Um, just uh, getting things organized. I wanted to do a tool review for you. Today's tool review will be reviewing the Milwaukee 16 gauge nail gun. You can tell the difference between this one and the other one due to its straight, uh, the straight uh, place to put the nails. I forgot the name of it, but it has the straight place to put the nails. And this is the technical name is the Milwaukee 16 gauge straight finish nailer. So there you go. So I'm gonna compare this guy, which I've used for a few years, to this is the Milwaukee 15 gauge finish nailer. So this one is, you can tell it's different because it has the angle slide on it. I personally, right off the bat, will tell you that I like the 15 gauge better. It seems to sink the nails every time without fail. However, the 16 gauge, that's a different story. Um, even in pine, I always have to go back with, you know, uh, a hammer and then the uh, nail sinker after that. But, yep, we'll be reviewing those today, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so we have the 16 gauge and the 15 gauge. Let's get some batteries in these guys and show you how they how they operate. For the cons right away for this 15 gauge is that you can't unless you have a bigger battery, unless you had the high demand, you wouldn't be able to stand it up on its battery. So, which then brings me to the pro of 16 gauge, which is any size battery, you can stand it up. Any size. So that is a pro if you're working diligently and you want to protect your tools, you can just set it down right away and it'll stay there. Sometimes you don't obviously have to worry about it flipping. So it is best sometimes just to lay it down, um, but uh, I prefer just to stand it up. You know, keep scratches off the tools. I like to take care of my tools. Uh, the more you take care of them, the longer they'll last. Just right off the bat, I'll show you that we're operating with the same power, three lights, and they both are the. XC 5.0. I'm just using whatever I got in there. This looks like an inch and a inch and a quarter, maybe. In here, and then same in here, maybe maybe two inches in there. And like it'd be nice if you could stand that some way, but no. All you can do is put it on its side like that. I was gonna cut brand new wood, but I figured why cut brand new wood when the scrap is available. For this, for both of these, what you do to turn them on, you just hold, and then it comes on. If you wanted to um, change it to like bump fire, you would press it again, and now you can go. You just pull the trigger once, and then you just, you know, and then it'll come out. Capacity, though. 
What I also like about this one is since it's angled, you can get a higher angle on the, uh, on the piece you're working on. Let me turn my mic around real quick. So for instance, Let's say we were putting two pieces together and we wanted the nail to go in at more of an angle and do that. Um, obviously it'll stick out like that, but it is possible um, to do it. Um, or if you had like even like a tight spot, it would work there too. Whereas with the 16 gauge, because it's, it's, it has the straight shaft here, you can't you can't get that you can't get that purchase on it. As far as sound goes, there's the 16. Say the, uh, say the 15 gauge sounds louder, but as you can see, this is the same piece of wood. Look at the depth there. This is the 16, and this is the 15. It's like noticeable, like this is, I don't know, pine? There's an old pallet. So if this is just regular pine, and it's so soft like that, like this is a constant occurrence with the 16 gauge. Like, I would have to come back if this was, like, at, on the job site. I would have to come back and nail that in. Whereas this one, it's just minimal. And I don't even think I have the depth set correctly on. Just set the depth, all you do is just turn this. Yeah, see, the depth was like at full tilt on this thing. This will sink it in, no problem. Now that I've adjusted it. So this was, this was before, and that's after. <laughs> like that's, that's, that's through the wood. See? Without adjustment, without adjustment, with adjustment. Now let's try to see how far we can get that in with the uh, 16 gauge. So 16 gauge, I think this is it. This was with just how I had it on the bag. This is good. So it did sink it after adjusting it. But the, the thing is, is this is pine. I don't know my wood species that well, but it's not oak, I can tell you that. This is for sure without a doubt pine. So let's see about this in here. Yeah, see. So I would venture to guess that that is also pine. And if it's only like putting it just below the surface, I mean, that's a good nail gun, but this is just pine. We're not talking about oak here. Whereas the 15 gauge, same, I'll do it right below it. Look at it. That's like, there's a, there's a cater, crater where that went in. I don't know, maybe I'm biased, but I prefer, the 15 gauge over the 16 gauge all day long. So now, for just like the other one, if you wanted to just bump it. They both have lights on them too, which is pretty fancy. Now, if I were to buy these again, I think I would only buy the one and that would be the 15 gauge you can do more with it in my opinion it's more versatile 
whereas the 16 gauge it just has issues sinking the nails like like i was saying these are just inches inch and a quarter nails and that's pine so if you have a, a oak cabinet that you're trying to sink these into see they're only that big if you have it in if you have an oak counter counter or cabinet that you're trying to sink these into you're gonna have a and i've had i've experienced it uh, a very hard time sinking these in um as opposed to these like it's a night and day difference it's just insane yeah see these are the same size nails same size but they're thicker they have a uh, bigger girth to them yet this one is sinking them well below the surface and that guy is uh, it's at its lowest setting and i can't get it to sink beneath the surface just like this guy can. so in my opinion if you're in the market for a nail gun I would, I mean, obviously I love Milwaukee, so I'm pretty biased to them, but they make, I'm, I'm that way for a reason. They make high quality tools that are going to last a lifetime. And the way I take care of my tools, I have no doubt that my kids, if I have kids, that's a whole different story. But if I have kids, I'll be able to pass those down to them. Another thing that's worth noting too, is I, I feel the... 15 gauge with the same battery is lighter than the 16 gauge. Yeah, the 16 gauge feels much heavier than the 15 gauge. Frankly, this I, I prefer the 15 over this. Maybe, who knows? Let me know in the comments. I'm not an expert on nail guns or nail nails or really an expert on anything. So if I'm doing something wrong, with this guy, let me know. Maybe I am. All right, guys. So that's the review for you today. I'm not strictly a Milwaukee guy. I mainly am. Um, the only Dewalt power tools that I have are this table saw and a compound uh, miter saw. So I'm not completely biased, but um, truth be told, I only bought the Dewalt stuff because Milwaukee's versions weren't out yet. Having seen the Milwaukee table saw, I th think if I didn't, I didn't do much uh, research on it because I already have my DeWalt one, um, but it is the powered version. Um, however, my miter saw is the battery version. So having said that, if, it, if the Milwaukee can do everything this DeWalt can do, which is, uh, it has what, a 12 inch blade, on, 10 inch blade on it, 10, 12? Has a bigger blade than the seven and a quarter inch DeWalt flex bolt, which was garbage. Um, if the Milwaukee can do everything this can do, including dado stacks, all that stuff, I would probably go with the Milwaukee simply because I already, I already have the battery platform and I just bleed red, frankly. Um, no, but seriously, I do. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. This was a james of all trades tool review coming at you please click that subscribe i have many more tools that i'm going to review uh we're just getting started here guys so catch you later enjoy your saturday i will see you guys tomorrow